Bobby Charlton, the immortal icon of Man United, Bobby Charlton, who passed away at the age of 86 last week, emerged from the ashes of the Munich air disaster, a phoenix reborn. He not only survived the tragedy but went on to lead Manchester United to a European Cup victory and England to their first and only World Cup title, for every footballer, the World Cup is a dream. Charlton lived this dream four times consecutively, becoming a vital part of England's victorious squad in 1966. Retiring in the 1970s, he stood as Manchester United's all-time leading goal scorer and England's finest until Wayne Rooney emerged. Charlton's glory extended beyond the pitch. He was one of the survivors of the 1958 Munich Air disaster. An incident that nearly wiped out Manchester United's main team. Despite the trauma, he chose to stay, becoming the pillar of a new Man United team and eventually captaining them to their first European Cup, marking England's entry into the European elite. In 2017, at 80, Charlton confessed that he couldn't forget the tragic Munich day, feeling a mix of regret, deep sadness, and survivor's guilt. Yet, he persisted, becoming an integral part of Manchester United's revival under Matt Busby, taking them back to European glory, Charlton's greatness wasn't just about football, it was about resilience. He survived Munich, rebuilt his team, and even with an aging appearance compared to his glamorous teammates like Best and Law. He continued to shine. The trio, immortalized as the Holy Trinity, symbolized Manchester United spirit, with Charlton's face etched on the famous statue outside Old Trafford, in England's greatest player polls, names like Banks, Moore, and the post-era stars like Gascoigne often come up. However, Charlton invariably tops the list. He won the World Cup, the European Cup, and the Ballon d'Or. His elegance and fair play on the field, paired with his humble origins, made him an adored figure. Growing up in a mining family, Charlton's rise to football greatness was improbable. Yet, he became the backbone of the England team, contributing significantly to their 1966 World Cup triumph. His duel with Germany's Beckenbauer in the final and his crucial goals in the semi-final against Portugal are etched in football history. After the 1966 World Cup, he and his brother Jack hugged each other in ecstatic triumph, symbolizing a dream fulfilled for the Charlton family. It posed a challenge to future generations of English players, what more is there to conquer? It's a question that still haunts English footballers striving for the next World Cup, trying to match the legacy of a legend who not only conquered the football world but also epitomized the spirit of resilience and dedication on and off the field.